Travel to Spain. All right, it was Mr. Peter Brooks. All right. All right, we're gonna play the last one here before it comes to Barack from stage here. And um, it feels so good. One, two. Be sure to patronize the bar as well. 
Um, they do have food and drinks as well. If you're not eating, please be sure to get yourself. Don't be afraid to eat. I know most people are waiting to see if somebody else is eating, but the wings are pretty good. I saw somebody in the corner eating those drumettes. I think she's single. You know what the single ladies, you know how they eat drumettes, you know, because they choose it, you know. When they put the whole drum in their mouth and put like nothing but a drop on them, that was, that's nice, I like that. That might help my jokes out just a little bit. Just a little bit. How many of you guys got, got a job? You guys want to work Monday? That's all right, that's all right. Can I please borrow a dollar from each and every one of you guys? I rode in, my gas light was on E. I've been riding on E since Tuesday. You want to do it? Y'all know how these gas prices just finally went down, all right? Finally went down. Who we gonna blame for that? All right, I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> I'll leave that one alone. I know y'all heard my name, Barack uh, Man. Y'all thinking, well, that guy is, is he, you know, a rap He's never chained a gas station. She was surprised to see the black guy come through. I look like a weed man or the tow truck guy, right? You didn't know. You didn't know which one. You didn't know who came in and do it this day. You didn't. But I'm actually black and Jewish. I want to put that out there. I am black and Jewish. You know, my uh, my mom was black. The landlord was Jewish. My mom did what she had to do. You know, don't judge us. You know, she had rent free for six months. You know, she had no priorities at all. You know. But the crazy thing about it, my mom was only 13 years older than me. You know, so growing up. We both stayed with grandma, you know. I lived with my mom and split with her mom, so when she got in trouble, we both was on punishment, you know. We both had to come inside before the street lights went on, you know. It was crazy, you know. My grandma used to say, y'all go outside and play. Don't come back in until I call you. So my mom would be running in and out the house, and I'd be like, oh, no, we can't go inside. We can't go inside. Anybody uh, over 30 in the building? If you're over 30, make sure you over 30. Over 30, that's all right. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Life changes after you turn 30, right? You can't do, you can't do the things you used to do anymore. You can't. I don't know who can't leave the house 20 minutes because you eat a bowl of razor bread in the morning. You got to let it digest before you get in the car. You mess around to sneeze in the car, mess up your whole outfit. I'm the only, I'm the only one. I know I'm not the only one. I know it. I know it. I just mess around to stand up too fast. You see those lightning bugs in your face? You're trying to, trying to catch those lightning bugs. Like, what is this? I can't catch that. What is this? I'm the only one. I'm the only one that's over 30. You leave a crop pot on while you go to work because you want to. Adults don't mind that crock pot. These young kids like, what is crock pot? Oh, what is crock pot? I do want to give a shout out to all the thick women in the building. All the thick women make some noise. I love you to death. If you walk in your thighs touch, I'm talking to you. Yes. Yes, I'm talking to you. These skinny chicks don't know too much right now. I'm not minding them, but the skinny women don't know nothing. They ask me, man, what do you want to eat tonight? In the kitchen. Where the hot box at in the kitchen? That's what I want to eat. They want to order up some stuff. Hey, nothing against you. I bet you, you know, it's all right, but, but we're not talking about that Tom Brown and all that. I'm messing with you. I'm just messing. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. She probably could cool. Uh, you got kids? Anybody got kids tonight? Got kids? Y'all don't seem too happy to be out without them. Y'all know y'all be happy when you finally get a babysitter that don't want your bad kids. You be so happy, don't you? You leave Matilda in advance, don't you? Maybe you this extra fifty dollars just in case something get broke. We go ahead and pay for it in advance. Pay for it in advance. What y'all think about the band? The band was nice, right? Yeah. They, they got all this equipment up here. I can't afford none of it, so I'm trying to stay away from it all. I want to stay away from it all. I do. I really do. We've got a great comedian for you tonight. He came all the way from Jacksonville, Florida. I don't know if you guys have been to Jacksonville. Anybody ever been to Jacksonville? It's all right, all we know is the Bucks beat the Jacksonville Jaguars ass last time, didn't it? Finally, we finally won a game. Don't be happy for that. We finally won a home game like that, too. You know, we should be the first one to tell them, stop being the first one in the club when y'all lose. How's the fucking is the first one in the club when they lose a the game? What's that about? What you celebrating? What, what are you celebrating? We lost. We lost. We lost. That's all right, man. That's all right. Um, they do have a full menu, so please don't be afraid to eat. Don't be afraid to eat, y'all. Don't be afraid. I do want to say this. I'm glad to be out in front of a live crowd again, because I've really been going through some changes in my life, and it's good to be in front of people that's receptive to jokes. You know, I lost some people in my life that really meant a lot to me. Uh, you know, it's coming up on a two-year anniversary of my sister. She killed herself back in, uh, uh, back in October, two, two years ago. It's been really rough, you know. It's been really rough losing her. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been in a really dark place. You know, I actually uh, I tried to commit suicide, and um, but don't worry about it. I'm not gonna try that no more. I damn near killed myself. She was crazy. She was. She was crazy. She was crazy. I, I went to the medicine camp. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna. Well, somebody just finally called a joke over here. He was like, Dang. 
But I did, I went to the medicine camp. I tried to eat up all the pills in the medicine camp, but the only thing that was in it was a prenatal vitamins. So I ate prenatal vitamins. I had hips for a couple weeks. I was lactate, but through really good. I made it through. I did, I made it through. That joke wasn't funny? Don't worry about it. I'll throw it away. I'll take it back. I'll throw it away. Don't worry about it. I'll throw it away. Let me go ahead and uh, get ready to bring up your, uh, your comedia for this evening. Uh, oh, again, I do want to shout out the sponsors again. Let me go ahead and remind you guys of the sponsors. We've got Victoria Sky, VictoriaSky.com. Use promo code Listen Live for 30% off all your purchases. Rob's Auto Repair, 25 ADT and Extensions of Royalty. Now, I don't want to take any much time to break this guy up again. I said he's from Jacksonville. Goes by the name of Tez, but I know him as Dollar Bill. Oh, we got to we got Turn your mic on, I can't hear you. Turn your mic on. Man's going back up. Oh, the man coming back up? Okay. Did that man do something for y'all? They said the 